Hi there. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how you can use Authorizer with your React application. In order to use Authorizer, first of all, you will need an Authorizer instance. There are multiple deployment options on how you can deploy an Authorizer instance. For demo purpose, I am using Heroku over here. We have created like a one-click deployment for Heroku. And I already have an Heroku app in place. Uh, this is the URL for my Heroku app and I get the GraphQL playground out of the box and also a login page. Step 2 is to install Authorizer in your React application. Over here, I am using Code Sandbox to demonstrate this application. So let's install Authorizer over here. And to demonstrate more of a real world scenario, I'll be using React Router as well. Now that React Router and Authorizer React are installed, next we need to configure the provider for React Router and Authorizer. So if we check example over here, we need to import Browser Router, so I'll be doing that. Once the browser router is configured, we can add routes in this particular fashion. So for that, I will create a folder called pages. Let's say I have three pages over here. One is home.js. Second is login.js. And third one is dashboard.js. Now dashboard route is a protected route, home page is a common route uh, which can show your home page details and login page will have your login page uh, components. Let me quickly write this components. So I'll just write one liners for this component. Similarly, we will have our dashboard page. And similarly, we will have our login page. Now, I will configure a root component over here where we can move the providers and in app.js, we can have our routes configured. So let's call it root.js default function root and let's move our app to the root we'll also need authorizer provider from authorizer react and we can configure that over here now authorizer provider has a config prop which takes authorizer url and redirect url authorizer url will be our uh, instance url so let's add a config prop over here which has authorizer url and a redirect URL which is window.location.origin so in case of social login we want to redirect back to this particular URL right so that's the reason we need to mention this and in this particular root component we can load our app so I'll remove browser router from here and instead I will configure routes over here so we have routes and route. This is home page and this becomes the login page. And in index.js, I will change our app 
component to root component so you can see our home page is loading correctly now now i'll move the styles to our index styles and just make this body and remove this text align center so everything is uh, left aligned right now which is okay i'm not concentrating much on styles over here and we can also remove this reference to the class next in our app.js we will be using the use authorizer hook this hook returns user and a loading state so in case if it's loading we will return a loading state now in case if user is there so if user is present then we would be loading the dashboard route else we would be loading the other routes now here i might have to wrap them in a fragment all right this looks good next we can create a navbar over here which will help us route various pages so we can say we have a link component over here and link is to the login page and another link is to the home page and these are the links in case when we don't have user right so in case if we have user then we would like to show a button which is called logout else we will be showing those links and on click on logout button we would like to log out user so we can say set user over here and a set token and we also get an authorizer reference uh, it is a reference variable to authorizer js we can call the logout method using authorizer ref so const on logout is equals to this is a handler and this is asynchronous in nature so i'll await for authref.logout once the logout is complete i will set token to null and set user to null and i will set on click of this button we should call on logout here i am just adding a hr to you know segregate this thing now in our login page we would like to include the authorizer component which will render various uh, social media login or the basic login or the magic link login based on your authorizer instance configuration so i'll go to login js here i will remove this h1 login here instead i can set it to deep and i can say authorizer so as you can see based on my configurations i have received this uh, component and i will set a width of this to uh, 60% maybe yeah it may look good now the social media logins might not work from here because this is an iframe so what you can do you can open this in a new window and that would just render this application as you can see we had a login state configured earlier so that also works and now home page has home if i go to login and if i log in with google so this works i am uh, on the dashboard page now and in case if i log out you will see i am redirected to home page next in our dashboard we can also see how the token look like which you can use for further authorization so again whenever you want to use token data you can use the use authorizer hook 
and here you can render the token data and the user data to see what all properties you get JSON dot string defy token comma null comma two and I will also render the user information over here. user comma null comma two and here we can quickly see what all information we get so this is how you get the token uh, and the token expired time and the user information now using this token you can you know make the authorized call to your application that's all for the video you can share your feedback or issues on github and our discord channel thank you